welcome back everybody. Looks like today we are going to work with operations with integers. It's time to finally put everything we've learned together uh, about adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing integers all into one type of uh, learning environment here. We're going to put it all together. Now the operations with integers is going to be treated much like operations with whole numbers. And when we did that we learned uh, something called PEMDAS. You may recall learning this. Or maybe you learned, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Well, with PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we learned that we have an order of operations. So we have parentheses followed by exponents. followed by multiplying, dividing. And this is uh, whatever comes first from left to right. Basically it's saying uh, You could multiply first if it came before dividing, or you could divide first if it came before uh, multiplying. They kind of come as a uh, as a unit together. They're they're a pair together. So the M and the D go together. Now, along with the M or the D, we have adding and subtracting. They're also a pair that goes together. So we have add like adding and subtracting. And again, uh, for these two, this is uh, left to right. Whatever comes first from left to right. Uh, no particular order as far as which one comes first from adding subtracting other than what comes first from left to right. So there you have it. These are our order of operations. We have to follow this in order to get the same answer. Otherwise, if we didn't have an order of operations, we would end up having people having different answers for the exact same problem and the there would be chaos and the world would go uh, absolutely uh, berserk and we can't have that in the world of mathematics therefore we have to have some sort of order and that is our order of operations that we are going to follow. The only difference is that we're going to follow this order of operations and we're going to have to follow the integers rules. So if you're dealing with operations with integers, that means you've already had experience with integers and you've already had experience with order of operations with whole numbers. So now we're just kind of putting it all together. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the rules from both of them to solve some problems. So I've got about four problems for us to do together and hopefully they will help you understand. So our first problem we have is 20 plus 6 minus 2 times 4. And again, if you weren't here last time, uh, the little dot, it means multiply. We're moving away from x, we're uh, now moving towards algebraic thinking, and we use a dot uh, more, than, uh, more than not for uh, multiplying. Okay, So, the first thing we're going to look at is, do we have any parentheses? I don't see any parentheses. We move on to exponents. Do we have any exponents? I don't see any exponents. Then we say, do we have any multiplying or dividing? And yes, we do. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to multiply 2 times 4. So 2 times 4 is 8, and we're bringing everything else down. So now we have 20 plus 6 minus 8. Now we're going to do adding or subtracting from left to right, whatever comes first. It just so happens that adding comes first, we're going to add first. So we're going to have 20 plus 6, so we get 26, then bring down minus 8. And we're down to our final step, 26 minus 8, which will end up getting us positive 18. And so in this problem, this is very much uh, like a whole number one. That we didn't really have to deal with the integer rules that will be changing here very shortly. All right, we'll put this one off to the side. Let's move on to our next one. We definitely have integers in this one. Number two. Uh, we have uh, negative 15 
And I guess, technically speaking, we had integers in the last one because we have positive integers and negative integers. So I, technically, we, we had integers in all of them. But we're going to have negative integers in this one. So we have negative 15 minus 25 divided by 8 minus 12. Now, I do not like having subtraction when I'm dealing with negative integers, especially. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that by doing my LCO. So I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to change my subtraction to addition. I'm going to make the opposite of 25 is negative 25. Now, much easier. And since I have parentheses, I'm going to do my parentheses first. So I have negative 15 plus negative 25. That gives me a total of 40 negatives, so negative 40. I'm done with my operations inside of the parentheses, so I can drop the parentheses. I'm going to bring everything else down at this point. So now I have uh, negative 40 divided by 8 minus 12. So now I'm going to look. Do I have any more parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Multiplying and dividing? Yes. I have a division problem, so I'm going to go ahead and divide negative 40 by positive 8. So if you want, you can do it either way. You can say, a bad thing happens to a good person. I feel bad. Um, or you could say, uh, well, 40 divided by 8 is 5. And since there's only one negative sign with the 40, it's going to be negative 5. I bring down my 12, my minus 12. And again, I don't like having minus uh, signs. So I'm going to go ahead and make it into an addition problem. So I'm going to do my LCO. And I'm going to make... Uh, Negative 5 stays as negative 5. Change my minus to a plus, and the opposite of 12 is negative 12. I can go ahead and add now. Adding is easy. So negative 5 plus negative 12. Now I have uh, a grand total of negative signs of negative 17. And that is our answer for this problem. Hopefully this makes a little bit of sense to you. Again, if you know how to do your integers, and you understand the order of operations, you can follow those rules, you're going to find these problems are not really that bad. Just kind of a collection of all the things you've done so far. All right, we got two down, two more to go. Here we have negative 11 minus, in parentheses, 5 plus 2 plus 3. Okay, so again, we're going to uh, look at our... Uh, order of operations. First thing we need to do is our parentheses. Uh, and we have parentheses in the problem, so we're going to go ahead and add 5 plus 2, and we get 7. Since we are done with the operation inside the parentheses, we can go ahead and get rid of the parentheses and bring down everything else. So now I have negative 11 minus 7 plus 3. Now, again, I don't like having my minus sign, so I'm going to go ahead and do my LCO. I'm going to make uh, 11 stay, negative 11 stays negative 11. Change subtraction to addition. Opposite of 7 is negative 7. So now I'm going to do negative 11 plus negative 7. Gets me negative 18. Bring down my plus 3. And now I can do my final step of the problem. This is negative 18 plus 3. Now again, now we have two different signs for addition. So we're going to have to think... I have a group of negatives and a group of positives. How many more negatives do I have than uh, how many more negatives do I have than positives? Well, I have 18 negatives, three positives. So I'm going to do 18 minus three is 15. So that means I have 15 more negatives than I have positives. Therefore, the answer is negative 15. Hope that makes perfect sense to you. All right. We are on to our final problem. Thank you for sticking with me if you are still here. Okay, for our problem number four, we're going to do uh, 60 divided by 6 minus, and then parentheses, negative 24 plus 16, and parentheses, times 4. Okay, so with this problem, we're going to look and see, do we have any parentheses? Yes, we do. Uh, specifically, we have the parentheses right here. It's already an addition problem, so I don't have to change anything. I have 24 negatives. I have 16 positives. Therefore, I'm going to see how many more negatives I have than positives. And in 
this case, 24 minus 16 gives me 8. So I have 8 negatives. I'm done with my parentheses. However, I'm going to bring down the parentheses with the 4 in it. Now, this means times 4. Those parentheses do not give it any more uh, uh, priority than if I just put a dot. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it as parentheses just so I don't confuse anybody. And, uh, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and keep the parentheses around the 8 also because this is a negative 8. Uh, because now I'm going to have my uh, minus sign. I don't want you to forget about the minus sign or to forget that we have a negative 8. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it in parentheses. Now the parentheses do not give it uh, any more priority than just plain old multiplication gets. Keep that in mind. So I bring down my 60 divided by 6. Okay, at this point, uh, I'm going to look, do I have any more parentheses? Well, you see parentheses, but that is not an operation with inside of the parentheses. Therefore, I have no more parentheses to deal with. Uh, then do I have any exponents? No, I don't have any exponents. How about multiplying or dividing? I do have both. Now, in this case, I'm going to divide first because it comes first from left to right. So I'm going to do 60 divided by 6, and that gives me 10. Then I'm going to bring down my uh, minus sign and then negative 8 times positive 4. I'm going to go back and I think, do I have any more multiplying or dividing? I still have multiplying. So negative 8 times positive 4 is negative 32. And again, I'm going to keep this in uh, parentheses just because it's a negative 32. And I can see that I have 10 minus. So I don't want to uh, lose track on that. And by the way, uh, if you forgot, since we had negative 8 times 4, 8 times 4 is 32. You can think of it as a bad thing happens to a good person, and you feel bad. That's why it's negative. Or 8 times 4 is 32. There's only one negative sign, since that is odd. Odd amounts always gives you a negative answer. Either way works just fine. Okay, we're down to our last operation. We have subtraction. Again, I'm going to do LCO. Uh, leaving the 10 alone. Changing subtraction to addition. And I'm doing the opposite of negative 32, which is positive 32. So now I have 10 plus 32, which gives me a grand total of 42, which is positive. And uh, that is our final problem. I hope that this has uh, been helpful in teaching you how to do uh, order of operations with integers. Uh, have a fantastic day, and uh, best of luck to you.